So today we're going to introduce you to lab test mode. In this case, for first year students, you log in using user into the computer, no password. And then afterwards, you will be going into the Linux portion of the computer like this, and there'll be a web page. On this web page, there should be a link to say start lab test mode. Then there is the uh, connection for uh, logging in and use your passport your user ID to do so. Once you're done with that, then a new page opens up and you select which lab test that you'll be submitting for, in our case, lab test one. And you can put all of the files that are required in here. You then load up MATLAB or whatever application is required, just like we do in the regular uh, lab sessions. And once MATLAB is set up, then we're going to put in a script file and we're going to produce a PDF file as well. And we're going to save both of those into the web submit uh, page that you just saw. So here I've opened up script and I'm going to create a, uh, a plot command and I'll save this file as well. So it's just a simple plot. It's a text file that I will save as well. So here's save, and I'll call it something like uh, something useful, especially putting my name in there, just in case we, my, the files get lost or something like that. If my name is on the file name, and I execute it, it will make a figure or a plot. I will then go to file, and then I can save as, and once again I will choose PDF as the file type, and I will put my name on the file name as, as well. So I can keep track of it. Maybe the question number, something along those lines. So it's easy for the TA to understand what I'm submitting here. So two different files have been produced, a text file and an image file. I'm now going to browse and look for it in the 1011 folder or directory. So I'm looking around, I'm looking around. Where could it be? Ah, oh, here we go. It's up at the top. I'm looking around, maybe it's somewhere else. No, it's not down there. Uh, I'm a little confused. I can go into MATLAB and type PWD to see where things are being saved. Ah, there. It's telling me right there. Go back up here to the uh, folder list. Oh, 1011. It's... Ah, I didn't see it that time. There we go. Found it. And there are my files. I choose the second file as well. And now, I, s I select the way to upload it, to submit it. And I scroll down to the bottom of the page and I can see that those files are there and I can check them as well. If I click on it, I can download it to my computer off the server and check that in fact that is the file that I submitted. If it's the wrong file, I can delete it and start again. Thank you to everyone who's helped make this happen.